Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear all. This is Zakirullah with a new lecture the balances which are used in laboratory. We will learn about the different type of balances. Balance is a device which is used for weighing different things. There are different types of balancing. Usually in laboratory two types of balances are used. One is called mechanical balance and the second one is called electrical or electronic balance mechanical balance have three major types so one is trip balance the spring balance and the analytical balance the mechanical balance it is a type of balance which do not require any electricity or battery power it is a less expensive as compared to the electronic balances and on the basis of uh, different reading mechanism on the basis of the different pans and the precision mechanical balance is subdivided into different types the first of them is called the spring balance the spring balance it is a single pan balance used to weigh heavier things the pan is attached with the spring balance and stretches when uh, weight is put into it the weight is indicated on a scale by a pointer attached to the spring here we can see in this image that this is the scale which gives us the reading when we hang any weight any object and the measurement of such a spring balance is not that much accurate and precise trip balance is another type of balance which have two pans and both pans are equal in size and suspended with a beam and these pans and beam these are supported by a sharp fulcrum which is present in the center of both the pans when any object it is to be weighed it is first placed in the right pan and on the other pan the known weights they are placed after placing weights in their respective pans then the beam position is aligned and if there is any difference in both the pens or if there is any difference of the weight or the correct reading is not yet received then the riders which is present on the beam they are this is the rider this these are the beams so these rider give us the correct reading by adjusting them according to the weight of the object trip balance gives us a reading which is not precise as much as the advanced uh, type of balances and it also have issues with the weighing of heavy things we can use trip balance for things which have uh, small size so these are the limitations of trip balance these are the parts of trip balance here we can see that these are the pens this is the left pen and this is the right pen this is the center where the fulcrum and scale is present these uh, is the beams this beams gives us the points as the lower one gives us the tens or hundreds and these are the rider this give us a 10 or hundreds and this give us the uh, units this is a stand the known masses and this is the adjustment knob that before weighing our objects or placing our objects knob we adjust our pen if uh, our balance if there is any issue or if it is not corrected so first it is brought it to zero and then it is used for weighing objects this is the procedure how to operate a trip balance so so this is trip balance which is used in the laboratory and these are the pans and in between the pan this is a fulcrum and this is usually present at a zero when it is not in use these are the beams which gives us the units and tens and hundred reading of the weight these are the riders which gives us the reading and this one gives us a tens and hundreds and the upper one gives us uh, units 
know how to weight any object on this type of balance so first we put any object on a one pen we can see the fulcrum it is moved to the right side of the pen so to know what is the weight of the object we will move the riders which are present on the beam so the lower one is we know that it gives us the tens and hundred reading so first we will adjust the lower one now make sure that it is the object is not heavy as it have maximum capacity of uh, about 200 gram or 210 gram now we adjusting the weight as we can see the fulcrum first it was be, uh, to the right and now it moves to the left of the balance so it shows that the balance goes down and the object is lighter than the weight we put uh, into it so we will adjust it according to the weight no unit the tens and hundred it is adjusted but the units it is not adjusted so we will adjust according to the weight of the balance we can see here that we have the correct reading as the fulcrum comes to the zero point so this is how an a trip balance can be used in the laboratory this gives us about this is the 40 so they this shows us that this object have weight of 40 gram and on the upper side we can see this Here is, is 44.1 and 7 so this shows us that this object is 44.7 gram so this is a how we can measure any uh, object's weight with the help of trip balance. Mechanical balance have another type which is called the analytical balance and these analytical balance these may have a single pen or a double pen. The double pen analytical balance also called as a physical balance and it operates the same just like the trip balance. The beam have a screw for fine adjustment to zero weight and a pointer in the center which moves on a scale. This is the beam and it have these are the uh, pointers which are used for the adjustment uh, of the scale and this type of balance it is relatively more precise as compared to the trip balance or as compared to the spring balance. And the different parts and the operation of the physical balance this is a physical balance uh, which is taken out of the box for a better weaving experience so this physical balance have uh, a weight box along with it which contain different types of weight and there is a central beam which is connected with the balancing screws and it adjusts the level to zero then these are the knots k1 and k2 and they are connected with the stirrup to there is a central knife edge which is connected with the central pillar and there is a wooden base and in the wooden this is a plumb line which shows us the level of the balance and it is connected with the beam support and this is the pointer which shows us any error in the balance and below uh, there is a graduated scale and these are the two pans of the uh, balance this is the glass case or the box of the physical balance this is the summary of all the parts now how to operate a physical balance or an analytical balance in the laboratory first adjust the screws at the base and then lose the knot so that to know the level and any error in the balance and if there is any error then we will adjust with the uh, screws then stop the balance and put weight inside it uh, any object which is to be weighted and onto the other pen we put a weight in it then again 
uh, we start weighing and if uh, the weight is less than then put more weight in it for then we know that the article or the object have almost the same weight another type of analytical balance which is called the single pan balance they have uh, a beam of unequal arms one arm is supported with a pen to place an article for weighing and it is balanced by a single weight located at the opposite end of the beam it is one of the most precise uh, mechanical balances where that is used in the lab the parts of analytical uh, single pen analytical balance are the measurement pen the rider beams the adjustment knob and the pointer and these the riders the measurement pen this holds any item which is to be weighed and the rider beams this shows us the weight of the object the tens the hundreds are uh, ones of the uh, weighing unit also the adjustment knobs with the help of this adjustment knob we can uh, adjust our any kind of error or any kind of increase or decrease in the weight before weighing and setting our balance to zero level and this gives us an accurate measurement this is a pointer where zero level is present and this pointer is brought to zero level before weighing any object these are the riders which are movable and this shows us the correct weight of the object for example the lower one this shows us the 10 gram scale the middle one this shows us the uh, hundreds or more than 100 scales and this shows us the 100 scale so these uh, are the parts of a single beam analytical balance now the different types of electrical or electronic balance most have a single pan balance that use an electromagnetic force instead of weights and they are operated with the help of electricity they are connected with any battery power the pan is attached to a coil which is placed in a magnetic field generated by electric current when any weight is placed on the pan then electric uh, magnetic field is generated as we put more weight on the pen then more magnetic field is generated the increase in current flow is converted by a microprocessor which is installed inside the electronic balance and it gives us numerical value of the weight which is displayed by the panel installed in the electrical or electronic balance this is the schematic diagram of the electrical balance that this is the weight on the pen and below there is electromagnetic uh, field when we put more weight then there is more electromagnetic field that is created this light this is this strikes this area and this uh, de detector this is also connected with the circuit so when we put any weight in the span then electric field is uh, uh, electromagnetic field is created and this uh, converts the electric magnetic field into units and numerical value which is displayed by the display of the balance these are the uh, balances we have two types of balance uh, in the electric or electronic balance the hanging pen type and the top loading type the hanging pen type this is one is the hanging pen type this are usually protected in a glass case for weighing a small amounts and the top loading type these are used for weighing a large quantity or for weighing a heavier objects how the electrical or electronic balance operates first place any paper or plastic weighing board in the center of the pen then perform tearing by pressing the tear button on the panel and this will make it zero if any weight is present on the uh, on it so this will calibrate our balance 
Then place the substance to be weighed on the weighing board with the help of any scoop or spoon or any uh, speculum. The amount should be roughly slightly more than the required weight and when we have the required weight or more than the required weight then the extra volume or the extra mass is gradually reduced with the help of the speculum or with the help of the spoon so we get the required mass on the display panel now how to calibrate the balances a balance need to be periodically checked for accuracy and this calibration is done by weighing a 100 gram standard weight or an appropriate or already known weight so this is how a balance is calibrated the variation which is allowed should be uh, less than 0.5 percent and if uh, it is more than 0.5 percent then the balance should be adjusting uh, accordingly to the mass the precautions and maintenance during the usage of uh, the balances protect all the balance from rusting and tripping mechanism and it should be periodically cleaned identical balances they also should be kept in glass to keep them dust free and the balances they must be placed on a level surface so that the our weighing is correct and it is not biased and it is not disturbance by the level of the balance the analytical balances are also provided with a spirit level and adjustable legs for the leveling and the surface on which the balance is placed should be vibration free pans should be clean and place any object on the pan which is to be weighed that object should be placed in the center of the pan not on the side of the pan the weight which are to be used uh, that weight should be of standard quality and they should be put in a dust free box and dust proof box uh, after use and before use the small weights they should be handled with the forceps not with the hands the material to be weighed should be placed in pre weighed plastic tray or any kind of board or paper that should be easily washed close the door of the cabinet while weighing any object and do not weigh a substance when it is hot or it is cold because it can uh, vary when it comes to the normal condition or normal temperature do not weigh a quantity that is beyond permissible limit of the balance every balance have a limit uh, the minimum and the maximum so do not weigh any uh, object which is above which have which is heavier than the uh, capacity of the balance and keep the balance with the cabinet door closed and switch off when not in use and after use cover the balance with a dust cover so that was all for today's lecture i hope you have learned much more about the balances which are used in laboratory